What's going on, my fellow scale model building YouTube friends? It's James, the auction modeler, back with you again, and we have issue 78 of the Bismarck. So, in issue 78, uh, we get uh, the final details for the funnel. So, we get a platform, we get the uh, first mast, some uh, plant on parts on a sprue there. Absolutely loads of photo wedge, and then we get some PWB screws to attach the funnel to the superstructure once that's all done. So that's issue 78 for you. So the first thing we need to do is take the sprue, and then we cut the lockers uh, A5 and A6, which are going to be, just check the instructions. Yeah, five and six. So they are actually numbered on this one correctly. So five and six down the bottom there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop these down on my worktop. So they're both fives. And these are both the sixes. So that's how I pop that sprue just there. And then we need to bring in the funnel and bring in the glue that we've got all in this one ready and waiting to go. So, now these go on either side of the uh, ladders. So it's this ladder just here next to the um, covers um, for the searchlights. Um, so part uh, A5 goes in the little slot, see if I can get that little there, just there next to the actual canopy itself, and part A6 goes in the little slot just next to the base of the ladder. So, where are my tweezers? There are my tweezers. So, let's get an A5. Dab a glue onto the peg at the bottom of this one. Like just like that. And then what I'll do, I'm just gonna pop this in the right place. in there like that that's it perfect now I'm going to glue a5 in the same place on the other side now it does look like in I don't think it's in this issue just looking at the photo etch parts that we actually get um, but it looks like in a future issue we'll be getting railings that will run all the way around on the um, the funnel around the back of these parts as well so we'll see on that one so with these just make sure the details like the handles and uh, hinges and everything are facing away from the canopies um that one's not quite fitting in properly so i'll have to push that one down give me bare hands this one This to fit in is going to be interesting. Let me do this a little bit. There we go, that's on. So that's a locker on that side and the locker on that side. Now the A6 ones um, have got like a little bulb type thing. See if you can see it on that camera, not very well. How about on that one? Yeah, a little bit better on there. I've got that little bulb at the top. That does have to face up. Um, so, now these go against the actual um, funnel itself. So, get these all glued up and ready. Be 
the deal in Russia. So I'll move that around a little bit so I can get the angle a little bit better. There we are. And then we're just gluing that in place like that. Just to show you on the close cam just there, so you can see how that looks on that one. And then it's just exactly the same on the other side as well. So, there we go, that's it. So that is the two lockers on that side just there. And then we've got two lockers on that side just there. So that's um, parts one, two, um, four, uh, step stage one. Uh, stage three is to cut two lockers A4, which are actually labelled as four on the sprue. I like that they're labelling them right as well. Makes life a lot easier. So we'll just cut these parts off of the sprue. There we go. So they're the two lockers A4. And now these will go on the back of the funnel. Where you've got the two searchlights there and there, there's two little holes. Can you make them out? Not very well on that camera. A little bit better on that one. Um, there's two little holes kind of just either side of the central point on the um, the back of the funnel. These two will go straight into those holes. So... That's both of those two lockers in place just there. Now next we've got the steam whistle A2 from the frame. Whoops. And this is the one with the platform on it. So A2 is this one. I'll just show you on that camera there, just the one with the little platform, and that will go. Again, on the back of the Bismarck, just straight above where we've just fitted those two lockers there and there, just in that little hole just at the top. Now, around this will go the um, bit of photo etch that we did right towards the end of the last issue. So I'll just grab that as well. So that will go in place just like that. Um, let me grab that bit of photo etch. Put it somewhere safe so that I didn't lose it. So we've got the little bit of photo etch just there. And that will go straight around that part that we've just installed. So the little um, kind of horseshoe shape underneath will just go around that um, around the bottom of that part we've just put on. A little bit of glue on there. Hold that the right way around like that. And then I'm just going to slide that into position. Plonk that down on there like that. That's that. So that will now, when that bit's done, look something like that. A little bit close there, aren't you? Yeah. So you can see it there. Nice little bit of railing on that one as well. Um, so now take the two remaining parts from the frame, which is parts three and one on this sprue, and these will go onto this platform here that's going to go between the superstructure and the funnel itself, like as a connecting gantry, I suppose it would be. So, pump part one there. So part one is very similar to um, the part we've just installed, not the photo etch bit. The um, um, it looks like another uh, steam whistle. Um, and then the other part is just like a a pipe, basically. So I'm just going to clean these bits up because these do have quite a lot of flashing on them. There we go. 
So, um, take the two remaining parts from the frame parts A1 and A3, fit on the four mast platform and glue in place as shown. So what you need to do, the part that's actually got the, um, what looks like the um, whistles needs to go on this side and the whistle needs to be facing straight backwards and there's only the two holes on these that they can fit into anyway that they'll uh, they'll go into right so that's that one on and again I'll show you on the close up camera there and then this one has to go with that little tab facing downwards and it goes into a very similar position on the other side so I'm going to put the glue into that hole there now that tab has to face away from this one there we go so that's what that'll look like when that bit's all built and again just on that camera just there right now we're going on to the photo itch which is the bit I've really been looking forward to Cut the two supports, B1, from frame 78.4. Now then, let's have a look. 78.4 is this one. So this is frame 78.4. The two that we're cutting off are actually just labelled up as one on here. Now they are, sorry about that, they are um shaped correctly but obviously because the photo etch we've got to uh, bend them into position so i'll just get these off of the uh, the fret so that's those two parts off put that sprue there get these tweezers because it was easier i found using these tweezers to um, bend the photo etch than it was using the uh, pliers in the last video so no they might be all right actually because they're quite We'll give these a try first and we'll see. So, um, bend them into shape to form pyramids as shown. Also see step four and five opposite. So, what I'll do, we'll get these bent into position. So, same with these ones. There's like a little, um, right in the middle of the part, there's like a little indent. So, that's one. We'll do the other one. Now, we don't actually use these straight away on this. We're actually doing it uh, a little bit differently, so I'll get everything lined up to there, that's it, and then bend that in. Now these might, oh, I've got the little pins to bend in as well, I'll do that in a second. So I'll move those off to the side, cut the two supports B2 from the frame, so it's the exact same frame again, but we're just cutting the B2 parts off this time. So that's one, and then study the photograph carefully, noting where the sides of the parts differ. Bend both sides upright at right angles to create two identical supports. So. <laughs> uh, so their part two and then part uh, cut the b three from the frame and note how the sides are bent in the opposite way to support bear part two bend both sides up at right angles note parts b2 and b3 are mirror images of each other the arrow the arrows indicate where the parts differ that's that one right so that's that sprue now emptied as well so what i'll do with these ones is i'll bend these up <laughs> That's all three of those parts all bent up. So you can just see them on camera, just there. Step one, step two, step three um, for these bits. Now we need to bring in these brackets. So these are going to go underneath here. And that's going to be, um, it's going to be holding those, um, supposed to look like that's what's holding up the bottom of the platforms uh, that the searchlights sit on. So, take a searchlight bracket, there you go, and a support 
uh, B1 from step one. Check the fit across the inside of the bracket. The tabs on part B fit into the slots um, in the first part. So let's have a look at this then. Right, so I'm going to just spend these little tabs up now. I am going to speed up a lot of this bit because it's probably going to be not very much in it, to be honest. Um, it's just gluing bits together. Just as long as you follow the instructions, it's uh, it'll be nice and simple. So... Well, that was fiddly. Um, so, that's what it'll look like. I'll see if I can get a... It's difficult to get a close-up. That's better. Um, so, that's what it'll look like when it's all done. So, how you do it is, once you've got the platform there, one of these little B1 parts goes in the middle, and it goes this way. Then you take the other two parts, and you put them either side. So, just take your time with those. Now, I'm just going to do the one... Um, on camera, I'll do the other one off camera because it's it's fiddly and it'll take up too much time. Um, so the first support fits over, that's done, that's done. Right, so. Okay. We've got quite a lot more to do on this. So bring in the funnel. Uh, check the fit of the first bracket on the starboard side of the funnel beneath the searchlight platform. When you are happy, glue it in place. So, which side's that? That's the other side. So that just goes with those two little slots either side, and those two little brackets will fit straight into those two holes there, I would say. So two little holes underneath, right next to where, that's it there, lovely. So, the two little pegs that you can see at the top on this part, just there, will go into the two tiny little holes just there, pretty much where my finger is. And then there's little grooves cut out of the um, bracket part itself that will fit around these um, kind of bands that run all the way around the funnel. So what I'll do, is put a bit of glue on those two pegs, because once that's in, that should stay in nicely then. Like that. There we go. That looks nice. And it hides the um, cable really, really well. So, that's that one done. Um, I've just had a quick look at the instructions. I am going to do the other um, platform bracket thing. Um, now, because it's going to be a bugger to fit on, because the next thing we're doing is attaching the funnel to the actual superstructure. So I'm going to do that now, get this done, and then we'll get that attached. That's that one done, and that's that one done, when I can get that wire out of the way. There we go. So, um, that is the um, final bits of the funnel all done. So now what we need to do, next is attaching the funnel to the superstructure. I'm going to leave it there for issue 78, guys. Um, it's a, a whacker of an issue, this one. So... Um, we get the final details for the funnel, obviously, the bits we've gone through up to now, applying the lockers, um, details for the funnel itself, building the platform, the platform that we built with the little foghorn thing on it, um, that will attach the funnel to the superstructure. Um, the metal parts that are the brackets to go underneath the searchlight um, bays with the, you know, the detachable 
hoods and everything. The next bit is the final funnel assembly in the foremast. This bit takes ages. Um, I recorded this video a few days ago and it took me an hour and a half to build and record everything. Now, obviously a lot of the footage that I've done already that you've seen has already been sped up because it's quite routine, mundane stuff, you know, bending photo wedge and gluing little bits together, but I do show you where to put it in first of all. Um, this next bit, we attach the funnel to the superstructure parts that we've already built, um, but there's a lot of photo etch, especially on the mast, um, and then obviously there's some photo etch bits that have to go between the um, the funnel and the superstructure um, before we can do anything else. So obviously it's it's a, a chunk of an issue. And um, let me just um, show you this. I'm just going to swap over now onto my. Um, editing software so you can see so already i mean this is the last bit that you've just seen is on the screen now we're already up to you know 20 minutes 25 minutes um and if i zoom this out so you can see on here as well you know not not that you're necessarily interested in this behind the scenes stuff um this is attaching the um the funnel now that doesn't look like it's much but that's because I've got this whole camera angle three to use as well. Um, there's there's at least another at least another twenty five to forty minutes. I think it's twenty five to forty minutes. I can't remember exactly how long of footage that I need to do, and I don't want to put an hour an hour long video out. Um, so I'm going to split it here. Um, but yeah, guys, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at at the moment with um, with this. So. Um, that's issue 78 part one um, issue 78 part one um, issue 78 part two will be up soon um, I'm going to try and upload this one within a few days hopefully of this video uh, but please remember to like share and subscribe to the auction modeler for more weekly model building geekiness and I'll see you in the next video for issue 78 part two so until then guys remember happy modeling and stay safe